it's one of the most instantly recognizable cars on the planet. And the new Porsche 911 Turbo S is due to hit the road at the end of the year. Its makers have somehow managed to further enhance the souped-up speedster. Porsche has moved from the active to adaptive aerodynamics, explains Thomas Wiegand. Instead of the straightforward rear wing still seen in the 997 Turbo, there's a rear wing and a retractable rear spoiler. The changes were always necessary because of the 911's less than ideal aerodynamics. The body's teardrop shape resembles that of an airplane wing. Differing airflows on the upper and lower sides result in the upforce that lifts planes off the ground. To prevent this happening with the 911, Porsche added parts to keep the car fast, but firmly on the road. The car maker continues to use rigid systems with some models. The retractable rear wing that has graced the 911 Turbo for so many years has now been revamped. It now moves in two stages, and its angle changes according to whether the sunroof is open or not. Opening the sunroof completely changes the car's aerodynamics, explains Bad Hamann. The wing can be adjusted to keep the vehicle balanced. Among the all-new features is the pneumatically extendable three-stage front spoiler. It generates additional downforce on the front axle. Stefan Hürzler reveals that the first time, with the 991 Turbo, Porsche used a mobile spoiler that can move to different positions. In the start position, it has a much higher approach angle compared to the preceding model, which makes it easier to enter parking garages. In the performance setting, the downforce can rival that seen in motorsports. The front edge is far lower down and it's extended forward a little to reach maximum downforce. The intermediate speed setting, which is engaged automatically at 120 kilometers per hour, is set for optimum efficiency, which means downforce values and drag coefficients similar to those in our preceding model, the 997 Turbo. But when combining adjustable spoiler and wing, it's crucial that they are correctly coordinated. Otherwise, the aerodynamics could, in fact, worsen. We realigned a car to test this so that we could steer the rear wing with the front spoiler extended. Coming up on the left, the standard configuration, and on the right, the test setup. The misalignment causes chaos on the rear axle, and the car drifts out. So, assuming the setup is correct, the faster you drive, the greater the downforce will be. In other words, speed means safety. Of course not, says Thomas Wiegand. The aerodynamic forces are proportional to the speed squared, and the steering response is far more sensitive. These effects compensate each other. A steering movement at a higher speed will be compensated by the higher aerodynamic forces, so you're equally safe, whatever the speed.